Guess what guys, good morning. We're over here at Big Bear Lake. Christine's uh, gonna nap a little bit. She's in there. Well, I'm gonna get it started since I'm already here. I'm excited. Last time we were here, we got skunked. But that was, I forgot, sometime in the summertime it was hot and there was a lot of carp everywhere. But we're gonna start off over here. Check it out, guys. It's pretty cold. It's like 32 degrees. The sun is barely starting to come up now. Looks like there is a lot of weeds. Oh, I see some fish. No, maybe that's a duck. Also looks like the water went down. I see a couple people at the end. All right, so I'm gonna start off with uh, one bait, a mice tail, and one homemade jig that I made, an orange and yellow one. All right, let's see. Yeah, I gotta pick a spot where there's not that many weeds. Oh, this is perfect. Wide open spot. Everywhere else is uh, lots of uh, grass. Check it out. I'm gonna get started up, set up. I'll be back. All right, I'm gonna quickly show you guys how I set up my, uh, my bait rod with my mice tail. So you want to make sure first that all right, you got your line through your guides and you're not missing a guide because it would suck that you're missing a guide and you end up tying everything and then you got to start all over. So make sure everything is through the little guides. Then you want to check your line, make sure there's no, no kinks or anything because you don't want to lose that big fish from uh, having a kink in your line. All right, so you got the 1 8 ounce sliding sinker actually one fourth ounce sliding sinker you can use one eighth if you want a lot of people do put it through like that then I got my Carolina keeper you're gonna need some pliers for these there's like a little minus I don't know if you can see that but you just squeeze it <clears throat> you squeeze it then it opens up put the line through Start off with maybe like a foot and a half, two feet a liter line. Then I got my size eight owner mosquito hook. I do a quick little polymer knot. I'll leave a picture of it how you do it, but it's pretty easy. When you get around here, you want to kind of wet the knot a little bit with spit or water. Because if you don't, you might burn the line or kink it. And also sometimes you wanna check that the line is not looped around on the bottom. And if it is, just get your nail, flip it up and tie it back, pull it tight. Then you just cut off the tag end. Make sure you pick it up and throw it away in your trash. 
than normally how I do my mice tails. I just get it, hook it through the body, just like that. Thread it through, and then hide the hook. And then you, got, you just got the little hook sticking out. You could also go through the head if you like. Everybody has their own preference. But I've done it like this the whole time and never had any issues, so. And after this, you wanna put your sauce. You have garlic sauce or trophy trout, kokanee trout, anything you want, and that's about it. All right. Hooked up on the first one, guys. What is it? Ooh, what is it? Ooh, it's a trout. Throughout my jig. Oh no, it's a bass. It's a bass, huh? First one of the day guys, it's a bass. Alright, time to release them guys. Nice little start of the day. Alright. Caught them on this little yellow and orange. I'm looking for some trout though. But that's nice, caught a bass. It's a good sign. All right, on to the next. I need Christine's luck. All right, I'm gonna go to a new spot and then we'll be back. Alright guys, I am finally awake. Hello fishing fam. She's we finally awake guys. We're here at my first spot. We're gonna try the near the dam. I gotta catch a trout today guys. Hopefully we have good luck here. You got that? This is when I was doing that Spider Man thing, huh? Over there on that side. What is it? What do we got? Seems more active, like a trout. Again. Another bass. 
Just got another bass, guys. Number two. Right there. Check him out. I really thought it was a trout this time. Same orange one. All right, guys, time to let him go. Guess it's a bass day today. But the guys over there on the end caught a trout. All right, maybe I should change up my bait. Try to get some trout. All right, guys. Just got a little thump on this uh, mice tail rod over here. Just got a bite, guys. Missed it. All right, guys. So that concludes our trip for Big Bear. It was kind of a slow day. We only caught two. He only caught two. We only caught Zero two. Zero for me. Two largemouth bass. I mean, but she didn't really fish too much though. She, she wasn't feeling that I good. I wasn't feeling good. She gets a little car sick, so. And it yeah, kinda, and the it, drive up here is like. And it kind of just lingered around the whole day. But anyways, caught the two largemouth bass. Got a big hit maybe like 30 minutes ago. And I think it was a trout. It was on a mice tail. But pink yeah, mice tail you were using? That was pink mice tail. And then also, I caught the two bass on this. But it was actually just, uh, it was orange and yellow. Oh, orange and yellow. Yeah, I made it at home. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly making some little jigs and swim baits and yeah. But yeah, that's about it guys. It's a little hot. It was cold in the morning and it got really hot. It got hot. Carrie's a little burnt right now. Yeah, we're gonna head on home. It's, it's gonna take us over two hours probably. To get back home, but. I really wanted to catch some trout, but. Yeah, no trout for me today. Yeah, well, till next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, stay See tuned. See you guys on the next adventure.